Hi, this is Dr. Ben Morrill. Welcome to episode 38 of Reptile Genetics Weekly. Excited to be here. Happy New Year. 2024 is uh, officially here. And we're very excited for all, all the things that are coming in 2024. Lots of things happened in 2023. That was a good year. And uh, we're very thankful to all of you for your support and all of the, the cool testing and uh, experiences we're able to have and meeting people at shows. But I think 2024 is going to be even better. And we'll talk about some of the specifics that are coming up here in the next week or two. And even today, some of the new things coming up. Uh, it'll probably be kind of a short but sweet episode, but some some pretty cool stuff to talk about. Um, for updates, for uh, tests, uh, I am starting another run this week. And I should have results. Uh, let's see, it'll probably be on Wednesday. So about a week from now, if you're if you're watching this when we put it up, we're putting this up on a Tuesday night. Um, probably by next Tuesday night or Wednesday day, uh, we'll have the next set of results going out. So coming soon. And uh, I am hoping we'll be able to get more free DG testing in that run. But I don't know for sure yet if we'll be able to. But um, next Tuesday, as long as we can get that to fit next Tuesday, um, we'll either just be analyzing or hopefully we can have something some some data to talk about we'll see it'll be cutting it close but yeah how are you, how are you doing Kayla I'm doing great Ben happy new year yes you too yeah I, I'm good it's a uh, it's a good week um had a nice rest from a uh, um, little break from the other job and uh, I actually got to pull my hog nose snakes out of brumation since they started yes. early so they can come out early and oh my gosh I miss them so much so, yeah so do they able to... mm -hmm. are they uh, moving around doing much or are they still kind of in slow-mo mode mode uh, i mean i put them back in their racks um i mean i've done i've done some reading and most people say that it's okay to just go ahead and put them back in their warm racks instead of slowly putting them at room, room temp and then pulling them out um but uh honestly they went right to their warm spot and they've been happy as a clam ever since <laughs> uh it took them about a day to like fully warm up because i'd hold them they'd yeah. be warm and then i'd realize that like along their bellies they'd still be kind of cold so i was like oh weird <laughs> um even my little guy so um yeah but i've been able to uh, I'm, I'm still giving them their space but you know I, i've missed holding them a little bit so yeah it's a good time yeah and hopefully you get some eggs this year oh i hope so oh my gosh i can't wait for them to just come out of the egg and you know it, they crack me up. They will, they like even coming right out of the egg. They're like, I've seen the world. Time to play dead. <laughs> <laughs> How so, I mean, I understand, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you got some news That's for awesome. us today, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. We got a lot of cool stuff going. Um, yeah. So yeah, probably the, the most exciting probably affects the most people is we do have the puzzle test now available. Yeah. Um, I know. Uh, at recording, so middle of the day on Tuesday, it was already available on Clutch. And I yep. think today it should also go up on Morph Market. If not today, then tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so it's coming real quick. Definitely. It may even be up by the time this video is posted. Right now yeah. we're recording at like almost three o'clock. So at Eastern time. So uh, not long, whatever vendor yeah. you use. So that's awesome. Yeah. I know a lot of people have been waiting and excited for that. And and Randy brought up the fact I need to get some puzzle. I don't have any puzzle in my collection, so this might be the year. Now that there's a test for it, then that's that's yeah. my justification, right? I need to get some puzzle. There you go. I mean, heck, you developed the test. You may as well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. And we also have uh, news for the blue-eyed leucistic complex. Yes. Yeah, so we will have tests for <clears throat> all of them listed here. We got Mojave, Phantom, Mystic. Bamboo, Russo, Lesser Butter, and Special. So six new tests. Um, they are being added now. I don't think all of them are up on either vendor yet, uh, but they're they're getting added today and tomorrow. Uh, more than likely, they'll all be there within today or tomorrow, maybe the next day at the latest. But uh, thanks once again to Morph Market and Clutch. They're, they're working on getting all those added. And I oh, know yeah. it's programming time people have been you know relaxing for through the holidays but they're uh back at work today and getting back at it so we'll have those tests available and um also uh we will have some like small obviously right now we have the 22 morph panel um but we're gonna have some 
opportunities we we have where you can get a single test or a you know two tests on one shed or you can get 22 the full panel um, but we're going to have some different options for you very quick through our vendors uh, to be able to get like three four five tests run at a time um, and be able to get you you know similar kind of not not quite as much of a discount as you get if you get all 22 um, but a discount uh, we'll be able to do like the Blue-eyed Lucy complex and the yellow yeah. belly complex, uh, similar pricing is what we're doing for a two gene test right now. So that'll be pretty cool. Maybe even cheaper for, for one of them. Um, so that look for great. that. Yeah, that should get added to at least one of the vendors in the next day or two as well um, to be able oh, to man. get those complexes. And then we've got some other stuff rolling out that it will probably take a little bit more time that'll make it more customized where you can get exactly what you want. So it's yeah. coming. Definitely. I, I know it, we you don't have quite the a la carte um, pick and choose panels that people have been wanting just yet because it's of the way it's not really something that is doable at the moment. Um, but this is getting closer to that. So I'm excited yep. to see it. Um, yeah, we'll have more flexibility and customization for specifically yeah. what you want for, for a given animal very soon. Yeah. Um, and of course, as always, a shout out to, doc to Dr. Hannah Seidel and her students for helping develop that. Um, plus the yep. Ultra Mel B um, test that yep. was rolled out. How many months ago was it now? It's been um, a little bit, but yeah. now we finally got the Blue Eyed Lucy uh, tests available. We wanted to mention that again. But yeah, of course, we've uh, we've had these and Ultra Mel B going for, like you said, two or three or four months now, something like that for yeah. Ultra Mel B. And probably a month or so for the blue eyed lucy complex but we had to wait to add it until we could get the panel fixed at 22. so like we've talked about many times it's it's big enough now that we'll take a little bit more time to get new genes added to it so as a reminder if you get the full panel it's not going to have blue eyed lucy or pa puzzle on it right now but in three or four months down the road maybe maybe a little longer just depends um, when i can get them all working seamlessly so that we don't have to keep uh, telling you we have to do reruns for some of your tests. Um, once I get them running cleanly, then in four or five, six months, we'll, we'll add Puzzle and the Blue-Eyed Lucy's to that 22 gene panel. We'll jump up and be more like a 30 gene panel. So that's coming as well. All right. So next up, this is something that we've been uh, hinting at a little bit, but uh, Ben, you want to talk about this one? Yeah, so we have some a little bit more fast number, more uh, fixed uh, specific numbers for this information for this. So the fast testing, uh, we got some some extra S's in there to make it a little hissy for all you snake keepers. <laughs> um, <laughs> our fast testing, uh, we have the expected launch date will be January 15th. So if you uh, get a order for a clown, a vpi xanthic or a dgc test um, if you want any of those three or two or all three of those on a on an individual and you make that order around january 15th so if we get your shed before the 15th if we get it on the 12th or something like that it'll probably still get run as a fast test but it will just be whenever whatever that first day is that we're actually able to to do that uh, which should be right about the 15th and so if you're ordering for one of those clown VPI or DGC um, in, in January, February, March, uh, you'll you'll get much faster turnaround times. And after the 15th, it'll just be two business days. When we get your shed, two business days, we'll have that. So if we get it on a Monday, you'll get your results on Tuesday or Wednesday. If we get it on a Friday, you'll get your results on a Monday or a Tuesday. Um, so yeah, it's just two business day turnaround and uh, we'll have that to you real quick. So I'm, I've been very excited to make this, uh, make this available and uh, it's going to be so nice to be able to get the results back out to people fast. If you have a show, if it's Saturday or Sunday and you have a show the next week, uh, it makes it so you could overnight a shed and we get it and get results to you before your show that, that weekend, that all is possible with this. And so we're, very excited about that and so like i said if you want to go to the next slide um, right now we'll have the vpi azanthic dgc and clown and then by the end of january we should have three or four more uh two three four more something like that 
uh, that will get added and we'll just keep adding them until we can get all of them switched over to this fast technology that'll make it so we can get your results back to you quick. Yeah, that'll be a game changer. Um, yes. I mean, so going to a show, the difference of knowing whether your 66% POS hit is 100% hit for something fancy like Clown or DG or VPI, that's huge. So uh, yes. thank you for your work for being, thank you for your work, uh, you and um, Sean for making this work. So yes. it'll be yeah. great. And we'll, we'll get Pied and Hypo and Sunset and and uh genetic stripe and yellow belly comp you know all of those will yeah. come very quickly so all the heavy hitters yes we will get all those right. so they'll be real fast um the other thing uh, and we didn't necessarily add something um uh, as a slide mm -hmm. but yeah. another thing that just got added i know at least on morph market i don't know for sure if clutch has done anything yet but they do have the discounting available or they will like today or tomorrow yeah. Um, so if you're getting, I think between 10 and 50, um, so you get above 10, then you'll get like a 10% discount. And then when you get above 50, then you get like a 15% discount. So those discounts we've talked about, um, those are, those are being added and will be available. So not only, uh, will you get it faster, you'd be able to get it cheaper too, if you're getting several individuals. So it's yeah, getting, so getting better and better. Yeah, bulk discount shed tests in that case. Yeah. Love that. Okay. Um, and so lastly, we always finish up our show with a why I do this segment. Um, and this one's uh, kind of special to my heart because it has uh, that picture of the rat snake um, is my girl Clover, um, who was actually produced by the person who's doing our why I do this. Um, and that is uh, Clint Bartley of Metazotics. They're from Chandler, Indiana, if I'm remembering that correctly. Uh, Clint can yell at me later if I got it wrong, but here you go. Here's his why I, do, why I do this. Hello, everyone. Clint here from Metazotics and Colubrid and Colubroid Radio. I was asked why we do what we do every day and what makes this hobby worth it to me. I'll tell you, first and foremost, it's the animals. Getting to work with such beautiful creatures on a daily basis, whether they love you or not, we still get to appreciate them, get to appreciate what they bring to nature, how they interact, and get to learn so much about them. I have loved these animals since I was six years old, and I know that's never going to change. Number two, the people. Getting to talk to so many people that have this interest, that have this love, just like I do, whether it be at shows online or here in the store every day, that's something that I think few people really get to ever experience, uh, to, to be surrounded by a community that loves what they love. And the people that don't love it, I get to change minds. I get to change hearts. Whether they become reptile people themselves or simply through the education of what these animals are and what they do, they're less likely to kill them when they come across them. That is what's important to me. That is why I do what I do every day. That's why I absolutely love this hobby and will never leave it. All right. That's great. Yeah. And I forgot to mention, yeah, he's part of uh, Colubrid and Colubroid Radio. He actually told me that uh, that um, uh, that Blue Beauty rat snake he was holding, I saw that it was all puffed up and uh, looking a little <laughs> bit defensive over there. He said that it was trying to bite him uh, through some of the recording. So. Good job not getting bit. <laughs> he, um, he seemed to stay pretty chill through all of it. So. Oh yeah, no. Uh, uh, arms and nerves of steel, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. uh, doing a video many years back with Justin Julander, yeah. who was my business partner when I was part of Australian Addiction Reptiles, which. Yeah. I'm repping his shirt right here. So. All right. Um, just one python. Yeah. Just one python. Just one. Just one yeah. more. <laughs> But yeah, we were uh, doing a video in his snake room and I had a Woma, Woma Python out and I'd had the Woma Python in my hands for a good three or four minutes while we're talking about things. And it just had its head on my hand and just slowly turned and just latched on and it <laughs> started coiling. It was like a feed bite and it would not let go. I was like, <laughs> like right when you get him out of the cage, you kind of, you know, watch out. But he just yeah. decided for whatever reason he was done recording. <laughs> 
Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I was dripping blood. We had to, I think we had to dunk him in some water or something to get him to finally chill out. But Oh, no. Yeah. But yeah. I've been there when my rat snakes tried to tried to swallow my ring finger a few a few weeks back. Same guy who ate the scrambled egg. So he has actually figured out that fingers are not food. But um, <laughs> I, I've had wild rat snakes. They'll just occasionally decide that, you know, I know I'm calm here, but I'm just going to slowly. Ah. <laughs> so, goobers. Uh, Fun stuff. Oh, yes. Um, so that being said, uh, if you want to um, send in your own segment, uh, well, your own video for our Why I Do This segment, uh, you can send it to raregeneticsocial at gmail.com um, or shoot us a message on any of our social media. Um, we'd love to read your stories or watch your videos, um, share your animals, hold one while you record your video. Um, it's all awesome. And it all reminds us why we do this. Yes. But. Oh. Please do keep sending them in. That's something I love seeing. Absolutely. All right. Um, well, Ben, you got anything else before we uh, before we call it a wrap? That's it. Well, I guess one other thing really quick. Um, mm -hmm. I carried 92 sheets, uh, eight foot sheets of sheetrock halfway, <laughs> a half flight up my stairs. Kayla's been to my house. She knows what I'm talking about. A half flight up yeah. to my front door. And then all the way up to the upstairs. So uh, we've got That's an a unfinished, decent walk. It's an unfinished upstairs. But what that means for you all is hopefully I don't have to do it in front of these curtains. If I can get more space finished, then <laughs> hopefully yeah. I'll have like a dedicated recording area. Be be all a little right. bit more professional. Not that I'm, you know, I have ever been super professional, but <laughs> we'll get it. <laughs> we, hopefully 2024 will be a year I'll have a, a more dedicated spot to be able to make these videos. There you go. Well, awesome. Uh, well, I'll be rooting for you. Uh, what? Be careful with your knees and back uh, carrying all sheetrock. You know. <laughs> thankfully, uh, I'm not too. I'm. I'm gonna be 43 in a couple of months, and thankfully, I'm not too sore today. I was. I was worried I'd be good. real sore, but it's not too bad. Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, follow. Um, check us out on our social media, and I guess we'll see you next time. Later, guys. Outro in three, two, one.